Scientists estimate that our global carbon emissions and their resulting climate changes can be linked to about half of the increase in wildfires nationwide. And that's put an emphasis on things like electric cars and cleaner energy sources. But climate experts say that won't be enough. In part three of our series, Wildfires and Your Health, meteorologist Heather Waldman spoke with a scientist who's developing ways to remove carbon from the air. Today, we already have too much carbon dioxide in the air. We're already seeing the results of it, right? Those results, increasing temperatures, lengthening droughts, more intense wildfires, and compounding public health threats from pollution, heat, and drought. Carbon dioxide is a major greenhouse gas, meaning it amplifies the warming that we get from the sun. Some CO2 is natural, but burning fossil fuels has added way more and accelerated that warming effect, resulting in the climate changes we're seeing now. And it will keep forcing climate changes for generations. Once you put carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, it fundamentally stays there on our lifetime and our scale forever thousands of years. Scientists at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory are finding better green energy sources while also looking for ways to remove the CO2 that's there now. But removal isn't simple. Imagine dissolving sugar in several gallons of water and then trying to get it back out. Scientists are looking for new uses for that extracted carbon. Things like turning CO2 into materials that can be used instead of petroleum-based plastics. If we could simply stop that petroleum use, it'd be a, a, a huge benefit. We're storing that carbon underground on farmland. If you can put carbon into the soil, you're not only helping the atmosphere, you're helping the farms. The problem is getting the technology to work fast enough to outpace current carbon emissions. We'd have to remove 10 billion tons of carbon each year through 2050. So it's clear. We need every tool in the toolbox, and then we need some more. Hitting future climate goals won't reverse the effects we're already seeing, but reducing carbon emissions and removing CO2 will certainly help improve California's air quality and hopefully overall health for future generations. I'm KCRA meteorologist Heather Waldman.